Right, there you go. Can you get us a camera from the fridge now? Seriously, like that is going to help? I'm not a kid. Just do it properly and I will get you one. Hi. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. The bridal place called, babe, and um, they need Sarah for a final fitting. So would it be all right if I picked her up after school? Right. Just don't tire her out. Can you get us a can from the fridge? No. I'm not, actually, no. I know we've not been getting on very well recently. Well, you know, you did leave him for dead. Not really something I can just brush over. All right, me and your dad are a law unto ourselves, but please don't let that break us apart, Debs. I love you, all right, and I'll do anything for you. The thought of you and me and Sarah walking down the aisle together. Think how proud she'd be in a little dress with her mom and her gran. Just tell me what I have to do to make that happen. So how about it then, eh? Dressing like a pink blancmange with a blushing bride. Please stay out of this! Oi! Don't have a go at him just because you're not getting your own way. Debs? Please, all I'm asking is that you think about it. Hard at it, then. Mm. What do you want? <clears throat> I'm taking Sarah for a fitting. Um, she's still at school. Well, I'll wait, then, if that's all right. What? You're an hour early. What do you really want? Has Debbie said anything about coming to the wedding? Yeah, we talk about you all the time, day and night. I just want our daughter there, for Sarah more than me. Well, that's noble of you. Is it right that we get our kid to pick sides? I'm not going to do anything. Look, I, I don't know if I've already said this, but I, I should never have left you. I know that. I should have called an ambulance. We tear strips off one another all the time, don't we? Neither one of us is blameless, you know. I didn't say I was. Sarah's gonna look so beautiful and Debbie's not gonna be there. If things don't work out for Sarah, how we hope, then it's times like these that we need to remember. And I wouldn't normally ask you for help, but the fact that I am must say something to you.